Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Adobe Premiere Quick Tip Scripting Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to use the start, out point, duration, and end of your clips to get information about how long they are, where they start, and then it will also allow you to adjust these values and trim or move your clips around. So we're basically just going to be going over how to get down into the clip level so that you can view each of your clips and have each one of them stored as a variable, and then we can use different uh, properties to get the start time, the out point, the duration and other useful information. Before we get started, I just want to remind you down below, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified of when new videos are coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can follow us on GitHub for good code and Instagram to get updates on when videos go live. And of course, be sure to join the Discord and join in the discussion about scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, share tutorial ideas and products you've created. And if you haven't joined the channel as a member yet, you can now join at uh, different tier levels to get different uh, perks such as voting for weekly tutorials, uh, getting a monthly Q&A live stream to get any of your questions and curiosities answered. You can become a premium supporter to receive videos and codes a week in advance, as well as get code shoutouts and all the previous things. Or you can even become a VIP and get a weekly private VIP stream as well as VIP status in the Discord. All these perks if you become a member or if you just want to support the channel in any way. So first, let's go ahead and create a new script and go down into the clip level of things, which represents all of these things here. These are clips on a video track. So the first thing we'll need is our project. We'll say our project is equal to app.project. Then we're going to use the active sequence or whatever sequence is opened up in order to uh, get access to all the clips within here. So we'll make sure we have it opened up and we'll create a variable called sequence and we'll set this equal to our projects and the active sequence. Then we're going to basically go down the next level. First we started at our whole project, then we went down to our uh, sequence. Now we need to go down to the video tracks. We want to get one of these video layers to get the in and out point and all that of. So what we need to do is now refer to the video tracks. So I'll grab a variable called uh, video tracks and set that equal to our sequence dot video tracks. And if you want, you can also get the audio tracks by just typing in audio tracks. The next thing we're going to do is grab the individual track that the clip is located on. So in this case, let's do this particular uh, clip here. And this is on track number four. So we're going to say this track is equal to our video tracks index three. Because this is an array full of video tracks, it starts at value zero. So the fourth value is going to be number three. Then we can get all the clips on our track. This will give us all of the things that are on the same track number four here. And we'll create a variable called clips and this set this equal to this track dot clips. And then similar to what we did before, we now have an array of clips. Let's get the individual clip we want. So if we look at the order of all the clips on video track four here, this is the very first clip. So that makes it super easy. We'll say this clip is equal to our clips index zero. And now if I go ahead and alert this clip, it's going to give me a track item. Let's go ahead and get uh, this clip dot name. And you can see we're going to get the name of our selected clip. Now it is actually called a track item in the scripting guide. So if we go into track item, we can now access all of the properties and information for each of these clips. And since we have our individual clip, we can grab things like the name, but what we're doing today is grabbing the time related things. So let's first grab this clip dot duration. And in Premiere, it gives you sort of time objects. If you look at the time object, it contains seconds as one property and ticks as another. So what we want to do, since this is this duration is going to give us a time object, we need to get the seconds so we can actually read it. Then we can do other ones like end and we can get the in point as well. And we can get the out point. And we can also finally get the start. So now if we go ahead and run this, we should get our alerts telling us different pieces of information. So first, we're going to get our alert for the duration in seconds. This clip is two seconds, 0.33. The next alert is going to be when it ends. And that's at 21 and a half seconds on our sequence timeline here. The next value is the endpoint. The clip says it starts at 10.9 seconds, which is back here. That means that if we were to expand the beginning of this clip, it would end somewhere about right here because that would be the like, actual endpoint of the track. 
But once you get to the actual start in seconds, that will be where it appears to start on the timeline. The in point and out point are sort of values overall uh, based on how you've cut it. So even if you've cut it, that doesn't mean your start is where the cut is. It could be back a little bit further where the actual beginning of the media is. So the start is starting at 19 seconds as you can see. So the most useful information really is typically the duration, end, and start. But you can get the other uh, bits of time information as well to help you out. So one more thing I'm going to try and do is create a time variable. And this is going to be equal to our new time. And our time.seconds is going to be 10. And let's see if we can set our start to this time. And hopefully this will put it at 10 seconds. And as you can see, it's now converted the start back to 10 seconds. So you can also create time variables and maybe say set how many seconds you want it to start at. And then set the clip, start, end, or duration as whatever you've decided that value to be. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's how to use the start, out point, duration, end, and other useful time things inside of your clips for Adobe Premiere scripting. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button and hit the bell icon down below to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And of course, subscribe there as well. And of course, down in the description, follow us on GitHub and Instagram to get notified of new code updates and when videos go live. And of course, don't forget to join the Discord where you can get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, and much more, and submit tutorial ideas. Of course, don't forget to join the channel and support it if you wish, and get cool perks as well and emojis and badges. Thanks again for watching everyone, we'll see you next time.